And right on cue, <laughs> the dabs have arrived. Dabs have arrived. Folks, welcome to the Hot Box Show. As always, we'll be talking. Lang Dang. Uh, guys, our special guest tonight is Ryan. We're going to talk a little bit about his vibes and that a little later on. Do some product placement, hashtag sponsored content ish, and some cool news about uh, the launch of the green side. But for now, folks, welcome. 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 Welcome, welcome. Let's uh, get uh, baked. Yeah, and nobody's wearing a hot box show t-shirt tonight. No. So oh. I've got my American one on. The no, shirts no, are no. cool tonight. Green smoke room. Sorry. Ah, ah. green smoke room. Oh, they do make such nice shirts. They hey. do. We'll rip it too. I've got to say, like, I think we should actually take a moment, because maybe all Oaks at home will have to decide who's got the best shirt yet. Dad, you've got a bit of a rep shirt, but that yeah, shirt matters. Yeah. Oh, the back one's better. The back one's better. What's that extraction <laughs> tech solutions? Yeah. It's from yes. Colorado. Yeah. Joe? I have Nug Life. Nug uh, Life. Leaf Buyer. Hashtag Leaf Buyer. Dot com. It's from America. 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 Green Smoke Room Seeds. South Africa. Cannabis Mind State. South Africa. South Africa. Mm. Oh, it's yes. Local is lacquer. <laughs> Charles, what are you sporting here, dude? Jungle Boys, California. Oh, yeah. that's Some friends of mine brought it. America <laughs> looks dope as fuck. <laughs> so somebody phoned today and they didn't know that you can get cannabis seeds in South Africa. Really? Mm. Yeah. Okay. And I this think is somebody that's that's uh, he's a good grower and he's been at it for many many years, and he was surprised to find out. So yeah. he's so underground he didn't mm. know. Yeah. I pointed him current. towards two very good articles. There's one on the High Company website, the Heiko, yeah, and there's one on Gefalek with three A's. Yeah, mm -hmm. Fala wrote a, quite a good article on where to get seeds. Oh, yeah. Yes. So it's possible. Yes. Yeah, the seeds are out there, guys. We're going to do shout outs for seeds in that later. And then my shirt is Dutch Buds. Dutch Buds. But I think, honestly, my vote goes to Shaw. I yeah. think he's got the dopest. It looks like got a fucking hippie dick pic, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually called psychedelic flower on the label. Yes. So it is a psychedelic flower. Oh, nice. Well, I'd love to smoke a psychedelic uh, flower. Well, mm -hmm. you're in the right place. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, Dan, you're going to take over <coughs> as Jules Jr. tonight. <laughs> what buds and dabs have we got going on here? Mm. Okay, we've got this thing running here. 
just coming in. We don't have much of a, much of a selection tonight, but we've got. Oh, we got some out there from Oregon. From Oregon? From Oregon, dude. In the Yo. chat. You're in the so, chat. Oh, we're Oregon. Awesome. Welcome. So, what we got tonight is we got our usual bottle of turp sauce yeah. that we are. That looks so good. Oh, and it tastes so good. Yo, oh, dude. Nice it tastes so good because it is so good. Yes, dude, that honey would give Winnie the Pooh a chubby, eh? <laughs> have a Look chubby. at that. <coughs> this new light really makes a difference, eh? I think it's plus rapes to Joe. So this is our light. new camera, right? Uh, we've got a new light on our desk cam Ooh, that we've nice. never used before. Yep. And full credit to Joe. She helped yeah. us out there. Uh, it looks amazing. Animal did not rip me off this time. <laughs> Yo, Dan. Mm. That is so nice. Oh. So yeah, yeah, we can dab on that. Who wants to hit that one? Yeah. Yeah, you hit that one there. There we go. You just, just you take that. That. <laughs> that. I'm the dabber. Mm -hmm. And then, what have we got? We've got some, some bud. Yo, God dude. Damn. That shit's Nazi mm. white, eh? Very yeah. pretty. <laughs> very, very pretty bud. Farmer hands, guys, farmer hands. Yeah, dude. Dan's hands look like that so he can smoke like that. That's it. So, look at the nug inside there. I was, I was quite impressed with like that. Yes. yes. Even in by the, by the stem, <laughs> you can see how the calyx is in the heart. It's, it it up. it's really just it amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Even the stem has got um, crystals on it. Yeah. With a touch of perps, even, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's a bit of perps in there. <clears throat> what else have we got here? We've got this really cool chip. <laughs> Tezo is not included. <laughs> I'll have that. Uh, it's not a CVD chip. It's not a CVD chip. <coughs> what else you got? What else you got? Mm, some crumble, dude. Some crumble. <coughs> honeycomb. Crumble. That's Dim honeycomb. Poison. Dim poison honeycomb. I think we've seen this. Mm, I think we've done so it before. Uh, what else? Nothing <coughs> else, bud wise. That's what we're rolling with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Delicious dab. I think that's the is only it? bud we've got in the house tonight, so we're all going to have to fight to the death for this now. Dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've got a bit of... Here's my grinder. Here's something to look at. So this is one of these awesome yeah. grinders that have the two levels. So you open this one up and you obviously get all your weed inside there. But I've been grinding quite a lot, it seems. Because if I open this one... Yo, <coughs> yum, yum. Full of, full of a good time. With that in your fire. Oh, like imagine you didn't know this was there and you just one day open it up and you had no smoke at all and you're like, fuck. No, but you your grinder like, damn it, I wish there was some special compartment to open up and you found this. <laughs> there is. No, no, you do. Do. That's great for vaping, <laughs> yeah? Could we smoke that in just the joint? Just that? Could we? We could, but it would clog up. <laughs> I, I reckon it would clog up. You're right. Yeah. We're going to have to try it. And in a bong? Tiny bit of in a bong, yeah. Tiny bit of green. On the top of a bong, delicious. Mm. Oh my goodness, mm. yeah, that's, that's the best stuff on top of a bong. Mm. But generally you'd roll a, a joint in that. Or you that's sprinkle it inside the joint. This inside strain of the outside. flower, who's asking there? Matthew Sanderson. This strain is Kimbo Kush. Kimbo Cookies. Kimbo Cookies. No, Kimbo Kush. Oh, is that Kush? Yeah. <coughs> I think the camera's phasing out. There's too much going on. It's too dang. No, it's on your hand. Yeah. Sure. So that's that. What else they're saying there? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it, it's it's like a roofie joint, as these guys yeah. like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> we call, the way and we like to roofie things. ourselves, it seems. <laughs> yeah, uh, we do, we do. <laughs> roofie number 420, eh? Yeah. Uh, it's like it to check you on the chat there, Connie. Welcome, Oaks. It's like it to be chilling. Guys, uh, tonight's poll, <coughs> do you even vape pen? Brew. Brew. <laughs> Brew. Mm. Yes, no, if that shiz, you know, or sometimes, or I'm too baked already. So what are the poll results? I do sometimes if that shiz. Yeah. We're going to be talking down and dirty about vape pens tonight because it's been coming up a lot in the news. Mm -hmm. We listen to your guys. We're not going to do a lot of news, but I think a little later in the show, we're going to get to CBDNN. <laughs> so your oaks get ready. Do your homework if you want in that. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Hashtag hotbox show on Instagram to enter for Insta your gram and we'll give the oak some free shit tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Dan. Mm. Dangerous. Mm. Dangerous. 
And what blades are we going to smoke that with? Guys. We're going to try these. Yeah. Yeah. I'm using Nirvanas. These things are pretty damn good. They're very yeah, I'll good. I'll finish my pack. Really, they are. Nirvana. Yeah. Shout out Nirvana. Very nice. Nice packaging. Nice tips as well. Nice paper. I found yeah. the tips a bit hard. Oh, okay. Wow. I found them a bit soft. As I learned this week, if anyone wants to do the dirty dive and go out to 420 SA, you can't keep all the people happy all the time. Yeah. So, whatever, let's get back. The reason we've got Ryan on the show this week though, is Ryan's part of a click with Canna Trade Africa, but the real reason he's here is for green side, or the green side. Mm, so okay. what's the deal with the green side, Ryan? Okay. You always have to get me when I'm busy swallowing a chip or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically the green side is, is, is in green side. And it's your local pharmacy, spelled F-A-R-M-A-C-Y. And mm -hmm. it's all about food is medicine. It's all about but increasing vitality. Um, and we do that through your endocannabinoid system. All right. Nice. Okay. That's the gist of it. For any more, you're going to have to come to our launch tomorrow. Um, it's really exciting. We're going to be able to give you, um, you're going to come in, you're going to pay 50 bucks. Um, there's been such a great demand, we have to actually charge something at the door. But for that, you're going to get 100 bucks worth of uh, vouchers for, you know, coffees and hot chocolates and mm. some, some vegan snacks. And, and yeah, I don't nice. want to give it all away. So, so, yeah, I hope to see you all there. We have to give the Oaks a little bit of a preview though. So we're not going to give it all away, that but from what away. I understand, mm. this is a 420 friendly space. It's a 420 fr friendly space. There'll be designated areas to smoke your weed. Yeah. We do not um, sell weed in any way, so you're welcome to bring your own. Okay. Um, yeah. And what and kind of products will be there? Will it be like grow stuff? Will there be seeds? Will yes, so we have a, a full spectrum um, availability of products from your organic superfood type products to yeah. lifestyle products, um, cannabis infused pleasure oils, we've got um, seeds, we've got growing mediums, we've got CBD, CBD vapes, CBD inhalers, oils, creams, you know, for, for, for humans, for pets, for okay. bald heads. No CBD pizzas? No CBD pizzas as yet, yeah. No, oh, no, not Alex. Sorry. Mm. So the deal is you're having your grand opening tomorrow. We're having our grand opening tomorrow on okay. Friday the 13th. Mm -hmm. If you're superstitious, <laughs> please don't come. It is full moon as well. It is full moon, so mm. harvest moon. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And are you open on Saturday as well? Or is it we Friday open on Saturdays from September. We've extended our hours. So we'll be open seven days a week. Oh, wow. Seven nice. days a week. Seven days a week. Mm. Nice. nice. Soon, 24 hours, 7, 24-7. 24-7, yeah. Faux 20, 24-7. 24-7, yeah. So, guys, there's a lot of things that have been happening. We know we see a lot of, like, dispensaries and all these opening up and that. But I'll be real. It's nice to see just a safe space where you can go get your applicable gear for doing this or growing that or consuming the CBD or whatever. But it's nice that it's somewhere so... I'd, I'd, I'd almost say mainstream mm. because yeah. like I always say about that part of town I can smell the man buns in the air yes but it's amazing that this isn't somewhere that's on the edge of society <coughs> no it's not in the middle of fucking nowhere it's slap bash in the middle of the middle. Lani Central yeah yeah okay I suppose you could say that yeah it is <laughs> I, think, I think I think that that street has the potential to become you know Amsterdam or Johannesburg or South Africa for that matter. Um, there are a lot of pioneers on the street. Nice. In this industry. So, so the neighbors going to call the cops because it's going to smell too dank coming over the walls now, eh? No, the neighbors are on the VIP list and they're all coming all very excited. The uptake, the, the response from the community and from people has been so wonderful and so overwhelming, you know. Everybody's been waiting for something like this, you know. And I don't want to say it on the show, it's not about cannabis for these people. It's about the availability of, of you know, being healthier, being more vital, and feeding their cannabinoid system because that, at the end of the day, is what regulates our bodies. Mm -hmm. And if we keep that happy from bombarded from all sides, then we'll live a lack of happy life. I think you hit a, a valid point there, guys. It's like we live in this cookie monster culture when it comes to weed. Get the weed, gobble the weed. Yes. Get the weed, 
gobble the weed. Yeah. Don't appreciate it. It's don't always been this one dimensional <laughs> thing. But now, like you say, it, is, it does become a lifestyle thing. Maybe I want something that's nah for when I do the 94.7. Not. Yeah. But it's, it's bigger than just gobbling it all up now. So it's Indeed. nice that you're creating a safe space where Oaks can come ask the questions yes. and that. And it's also about education and awareness. Guys don't know about these things. I mean, doctors don't know about these things. You know, so it's all about <coughs> educating people. Um, we actually have a, a homeopath. Um, I'm not going to mention his name here, but he's, um, he's 80 years old and he's probably the best homeopath in <coughs> South Africa. All right, right dude. Yeah. Well, as long as you don't say he's a master grower too. Yeah. No, I won't say that. I We're going to hit this so guy. We have all different types of people coming to your store, though. I mean, we have all like different types. From all different aspects of the. Absolutely. Absolutely. And yeah. And people are hungry for this and they, they appreciate the education and they appreciate the awareness. You know, we're not a hard sell type of environment. You come there and you spend three, day, three hours with us for information and you leave, go and decompress and, yeah. and, and, and then mm. make your decisions. And from what I, choices. what I understand, there's also an opportunity for local, small, like, cannabis orientated business. I'm not saying all your guys are grow your indoor, but I'm saying your oaks have maybe <laughs> got, like, a legitimate, pro a legitimate product that you haven't got the time <coughs> to sell or whatever. I've heard that you have a space where oaks can come and you can work out a deal, potentially, if the product fits, but basically almost like a market, a physical yes. walk-in space where people can stock their shelves, you sell yes. the shirt, take a cut... Make the, everyone's sure. life easier. Yeah, yeah. Sure, exactly like that. So it's all okay. a collaboration. Um, so a collaboration of people and products. So some guys, you know, they don't have the, the know-how or the expertise mm. to go retail, but they have great mm. products. So we're helping mm. those guys to, to get their stuff out there. We do have, uh, you know, you need certification of your products to know exactly what goes in, and it must be organic. Mm. Mm. I see Oaks are asking, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer this thing once because I've been getting this question a lot for like a month. <coughs> Sanibus. Guys, I don't know what the deal is with Sanibus. If anyone went, um, yeah, I heard there was good weed. I heard there was medibles. I heard people had a good time, but <coughs> didn't go, so I can't comment. But you're Oaks are welcome to chat about it there. I don't think any of y'all went. Eh? I didn't make it. I couldn't make it, but I heard yeah. that there was some dangers there. <coughs> yeah, and also guys, I'm going to be real. We list Sanibus every day. Pretty much. <laughs> so it does get a bit tough for us to keep up with all yeah, the events. Yeah, we can't do all the events. <laughs> What's this thing that you brought here? <laughs> and it's this cam. There's, there's something here that's cam it, Yeah, let's put it under the desk cam. Lacquer, let's do that. That's what it's like this. Hmm. Cool, man. You can lean forward and show us the stuff, dude. I'm going to leave this to you all to yeah. drive because I'm going to get grilled. Okay. So the green side is launching tomorrow. And we have... Our in-house, oopsie, what, can you see that? Where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you do it. We will practice. So that is our in-house um, CBD oil. So that light makes a big difference. In black cumins, mm. which is uh, even mentioned in the Quran and is a natural um, immune boosting. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going with. So what plant is this <coughs> from? Sorry? What, what plant is the seeds from? In the, the so, it's, seed. so it's CBD oil. CBD, mm -hmm. it's 600 milligrams full spectrum. And it's, it, the carrier oil is black cumin. Black cumin, okay. Black okay. Cumin. That is very good. And there's a yeah. bunch of vaping here. So it's fortuitous. Yes. Because we're going to go deep on vape pens yes. and even potentially get controversial if Ryan might punch me in the face later. I'm not really sitting close enough, but I can <laughs> yeah. try. No, no, I had a look at these vape pens earlier. Yeah. They, they look quite intriguing. Okay. They look dope as fuck. So they're from uh, California, mm -hmm. alright? It's the top of the range in the market at the moment. So it's ailment specific, um, ailment specific um, CBD. So it's not just a marketing ploy. Oh, well, CBD helps with these five things, so let's market it like that. Um, so like the sleep one will have valerian in it, which is, you can Google it, is really good for sleep and it's organic and natural, okay? And inside the box, it tells you everything that's in, inside it. So they've got a shape one, endurance, <coughs> Califax, sexual performance, <coughs> and endurance, and relief. You guys are welcome to try these and, and, and let us know what you think. We're going to try them and see if any of us oh, make right it till now. the end of the episode. What's in it? Is it it's CBD? CBD. It's CBD, CBD. Yeah. So oh, the, thing, no. so the thing that I like about, <coughs> about CBD, I mean, I love CBD. But when I'm trying to be THC high, I don't like tea. Yeah, mm. Oops. But um, 
Oh, oh. So, I'm so clumsy. Sorry. No problem. <clears throat> so so I'm going to try the sleep one. The sex one's quite good. You should try that. <laughs> I did earlier. It actually tastes pretty good. <laughs> what do you just suck on it? Yeah. No, no pen, buttons. No buttons. It's made to last you um, quite a long time. It's not made to be disposable. And if you come into our store and mention the hot box, you'll get 5% off. Oh, oh, nice. Ding, ding, ding. This, this is very tasty. Yes. It so is. This That's the one. Don't fall asleep now. No, but I have <laughs> difficulty sleeping. So, yes. This is CBD and? CBD and they mix it. Valerian. 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 What's I love the, Valerian. What's in the sex one? Um, and why is this the fullest one? Why it, is nobody That's sleeping? the second one. Oh, okay. To be cool. honest. Okay, <laughs> cool. Makes sense. Yeah, that, that and makes talking sense. about that, it's because it's the most popular one, I brought, where's the battery? A battery and a set to give away. Oh, fantastic. Oh, lekker. Yay. So you all can win your own little set, yeah. Check it this. So guys, uh, to win these, uh, remember... 600 milligrams. Sorry, carry on. Oh, go for it, dude. Yeah. Now it's awkward. It's like we're trying to walk past each other. No, <laughs> it. You talk about it. So uh, <laughs> remember, enter hashtag hotbox show on Insta your gram. Uh, to stand a chance to win these things. What were you saying there, Dan? No, no, I'm just saying you're getting yourself a cartridge, one gram, 600 milligrams of CBD and terpene blend, no PG or BG, and a battery. Yeah, no PG or BG, no lead, <clears throat> none of that horrible stuff you're reading about in the press, all uh -huh. of that. What are the flavorings? Terpenes. Terpenes, yeah. And then on the subject of terpenes, let's taste this. We have some. More terpenes. This, unfortunately, I can't give to you guys. Um, so we can't open it and uh, check it out. And I know you want to because it's UK cheese terpenes. Because ah. <laughs> um, we smuggled this in good and proper. So there is okay. a 400 rand cost to it. But I'll let you know. Okay, so, that. So, so, but it's available. UK cheese. It is terpenes. available. You can get it at our store. Oh, nice. Oh, very nice. Five mils. Of yeah, UK but now, to, to all the oaks who know, who know, is it the Exodus cut? Is it the Exodus <laughs> cut? Because we are tired Exodus of hearing that. Is, be controversial. <laughs> is it the Exodus cut? <laughs> that was delicious. These are very nice. That's that, nice, eh? It's tasty. <laughs> like that one I sucked was like an endearment. It was quite nice. Yeah. Mm. But it didn't taste like ganja. Yeah. Do you think do you, are you, do you think do you think there's space in the market for ones that taste like weed though, but genuinely taste like weed? Because I think we're sitting the same vibe as all vapes right now. They sure. taste like something, <clears throat> but they don't taste like Zol. I've got a friend that uh, vapes nicotine, yeah. right? And he has trouble getting hold of nicotine cartridges for his vape that have only nicotine, like only, only tobacco. They're all flavoured. Yeah, in the shop. On the shelf, all of them are flavored. I can help your friend. And the vape stores I see in Cape Town now, they all have little CBD sections as well. Yes, they do. I can help your friend. Yes. We have, we, you know our Harmony brand. Mm -hmm. So there they've taken the most popular strains of marijuana and taken those flavored terpenes and mixed it with up to a thousand milligrams of CBD. Even tobacco flavor. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, there is, there is, there is, I think, a need to answer your question. Yeah. Some guys prefer that. It's about choice. That is. Know? So there you get in the CBD. Unfortunately, those products are aimed at a different market segment. So there is um, BG glycerol in there. Mm. Um, but yeah, guys want to taste the OG Kush or the New York Diesel or or just you like know, the dead. You must just taste yeah. dead. <clears throat> you know. Yeah, must taste dank, not just like burnt grass. Yeah. 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 No one wants a swazi flavor. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, let's get into a little bit of CBD and Oh my goodness. It's great that you had these pens and I noticed on the box you said no PG, no VG. Yes. Guys, my Telegram and WhatsApp groups and Facebook yeah. this week has been nothing but bad news about Vapes. vape pens. Yes. Hey? Flavorance of vape pens actually. Well, is it the flavorance? Because people are bitching about the... Every, at Oaks, it's like everyone is shooting every angle. So many angles. It's man. like it's getting gang banged in the media. And I haven't even linked the article because there are just so many. Mm. I don't know what to believe. People mm. say people are dying now from vape pens. Six deaths from vape pens. What, yes. did it blow up in his no, face? No, no. no? Even what? the ones that blow up, they don't die. So it's it's like that. apparently some lung disease. One of the angles I heard was that it was all boiled down to one company. So it was like one bad batch kind of thing. But these, yeah, these kids, these people That's are getting serious. like uh, uh, lung diseases. What they're basically doing, from what it does, is they've got a flavorant inside the terpenes, right? And they're inside the, the, the cut that they use. 
and that flavor that they're using is apparently got vitamin E in it. It's got a base of vitamin E. And it reacts with the metal. That is one part. Mm -hmm. The other part is that when you are now smoking, um, vaporizing anything that's got a terpene inside it, um, or that's got a flavorant inside it, what happens is the terpenes actually burn off at a high temperature, mm -hmm. which is acting as a solvent that you're inhaling. So essentially mm -hmm. you're inhaling an active solvent into your lungs at its most active form, because Should that's when the camera. terpenes as a solvent are boiling. Yeah. Okay. So they're saying that's how you're damaging your lungs, because everything you're inhaling from a terpene is boiling actually. It's boiling vapors, mm -hmm. which is the solvent. So there's different views about it. I think the metal one is uh, quite interesting. So what were you saying? Depending what was your question, yeah. Sean, about the metal? Sean had a good point. You brought it up earlier. I'm just thinking they bad quality vape pens made with the cartridges with with, with substandard yeah, metals. Yeah, cheap inferior pieces, of course. Yeah. They if they made with proper metals, um, I don't think that would happen. And and uh, I think this is a golden opportunity for <coughs> industries like the tobacco industry to to pin it on THC, and we know that it's not THC. Sure. Yeah. That's, that's just bad that's science. Just the vendors fake news. that are going trying to cut corners yeah. here and there to make sure they make a bit more money on their bottom yeah. line. On Immediately, yes. the prohibitionists are on the bandwagon, trying to blame weed itself. I mean, like, um, what's it? Forty thousand something people yeah, die can. a year from tobacco-related yeah, uh, disease. So why are they now moaning about five people in one year for sure. vaping anyway? It's not like. Tobacco, we're never going to win that argument, Joe. I was listening to some fucking Joe Rogan thing today, and the oak brought up a valid point. You know, the cat's out of the bag with tobacco. Mm. So everyone's like, you know, whatever. But now everyone's trying to not let the cat out of the bag with weed, mm. and now potentially <laughs> vape pens. So we've gone from the society of, the t I think it's a term of a society of inclusion versus a society of exclusion where now things have to be proved, proven safe first, yeah. whereas things had to be proven bad first back mm. in the day to be banned. So now, now. So, so far, Dacha is safer than would, vaping. They'd rather... Yeah, I like that. <laughs> what are you saying? Dacha is safer than vaping. <clears throat> Bongs are safer than vaping. That's so, I've got to pick a bone. Remember to vote in the poll, your Oaks. Uh, do you even vape pen? Yes, yes. sometimes, if that shiz. I've got to pick a bone now. Because vaping, vape pens, appropriated stoner culture there. Vaping has been around for like 20 years mm. in, for stoners. Mm. Um, volcanoes, um, all those vaporizers. That was vaping. Mm. I, that, I knew vaping for a long time. And all of a skill, like, Oaks are asking at work, do you vape? Do you vape? But I'm thinking, has everyone got a volcano all of a sudden? And now they're talking about e-juice. So in the last five years, what was once a stoner thing is now misnomer. It's, it's like mm. it doesn't... So va isn't vaping used like a hubby bubbly? No, well, mm, I don't know. No, it's more steam. Mm. Um, vape, well, steam, come on, it's the same thing essentially. You don't burn so you're saying we stole it from tobacco? No, it's actually more like a, it's a water pipe, so it's more bomb. No, but that was but for vapor. hashish anyway as well. You're pulling vapor through smoke. smoke. There's no smoke. On the coal. Yeah. My friend vapes Those through liquid like a bomb. We put his silver surfer through one of his bombs, so we vape the, the vapor through liquid before we inhale it. Mm. You got those cool attachments that you can stick your vape pen into your bomb. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. yes. Oh yeah. But now, so cool. Dan, you say people say Healthy. it's potentially the the terpenes in it mm. and the flavorant. Mm. Shol, you brought up it's the metals. I read a good thing that said, yeah, they're using cheap inferior metals, which I can completely believe. Mm -hmm. And because the terpenes are reacting with it, that's the main yeah. thing. Yeah. But I also I've got to be real. If you're fucking vaporizing these 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 liquids, these, these glycerines and glycols and polypropylenes or whatever they are, yeah. Yeah. and they're condensing on the inside of your lungs, surely you're varnishing your lungs on the inside. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't feel like we even know enough about this to know if it's good or bad yet. Maybe it's going to be one of those things that takes 20 years to figure out. Well, it's, you, we, like you said, it's been 20 years and mm. we haven't, you know, we can that's with find weed. out now. That's with weed. No, it's like only five like years of getting this. creative with whatever they're putting into these things, not thinking about the effects of what we're actually inhaling into our bodies. Mm. Mm. We'll get to it soon, I to think. A proper, <clears throat> sort of pure dab. Yeah. But I think we'll get to it because information is speeding up. Like for s many, many years, they managed to hide the truth about cannabis, and now the cat's out the bag. They can't anymore. Yeah. They're trying, but you know, uh, oh, the internet is there, and people are not stupid, and they do their own research. So they know. They Ruan, know it's a safe plant. Ruan has such a good comment there. 
Um, my personal feeling is that vape pens take away that social part of getting together and meeting each other sure. at high places. Yes. So the grinding and the crushing and the rolling. Yeah, because yeah. now, It'll now, now lose. I can't tell. Someone smoking this on the bus, Just I'm not going to know. No. Yeah, but you wouldn't sit and <laughs> That's what I love meet about on the bus vape and then <laughs> maul escape and have a smoke on Depends the bus. Depends what bus and where. Yeah, it doesn't even if, smell if like it. If it was, but I mean, still, this is, the, this is like an ideal way to go and smoke at the restaurant in the smoking section when you're having dinner with your, your parents or whatever. Or shopping like, centre. Or a shopping centre. Or you have to go to home affairs and sit in the line and you're like, fuck this. And you yeah. get high while I'm sitting here and that can get all get fucked. You take the social one is for anxiety. Okay. In the line. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, no. I'll, get, I'll just have a heavy, you can, like, heavy and like, like, like a baby thing where you can have them all like dabber. loaded. We can. Yeah. So one for depending on what you need. Depending on what you need. Uh, okay. uh, uh, uh. Yeah, Oaks, one day you so I'm just gonna rock up there at the Greenside store. It's gonna scan my retina and it's just gonna dispense my custom fucking what I need thing yeah. for the month because it's just gonna know. Yes. You know? Soon. Soon, soon. Soon, soon. So, yeah, guys, I don't know what you think about all this, all this e juice and that. Uh, Dan. Do you vape this? We, we vape this occasionally. Do you think it's something you could do daily? Every day, no. Yeah. No, hey? No. I had one of those pens where it was like a little battery pack with a cartridge on the head where you can load your wax inside. Yes. And I had that for with, with dabs in it and I tried to smoke that and after a couple of days my lungs were hurting. That's good. So, no. I have an atomizer and if you use it carefully it's quite an enjoyable experience. <clears throat> and I have this little Dynavape, it's got no batteries, it doesn't work with the battery, you just heat it up with a torch and then you vape the flowers. And this I really enjoy. I wouldn't use it every day, if I had one of those, have it, have it on the side. If it's there, it's in the car, maybe it sits in the car and you can, while you're in traffic, I keep one in my bag, and um, four things like out. being stuck in queues or mm. you know, in the car quickly or... And Jules, Jules is around. Yeah. So guys, around. Okay. we're going to cut to Jules. Jules and Myrtle are in Namibia at the moment. We really, uh, I don't know if you can see behind us here, there's the map of Namibia, and so we are here, Sorry. right in the middle <laughs> of, this vast, of this vast, vast country. So Namibia has obviously got this fledgling legalization thing going down, so they've invited us here to do two presentations. One uh, tomorrow afternoon here in Bintook and another one in Swakopmund on... Oh, look, there's my puppy. There's your Vinny. my puppy. <laughs> okay, stay with the program. Hello, Vinny. Sorry. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> um, so, and then on Swakopmund on uh, Saturday afternoon at 4 o'clock, if there's any Namibians watching tonight, please join us. And then I've just heard this more uh, now this evening that tomorrow we're going to be on two different Namibian radio stations, which is always great. You know, we love talking on the radio. And so that's basically what we're going to be doing. Our usual thing, we're going to use the format of our outcomes presentation and we're going to tell all of these Namibians about what we do and what's going down in South Africa. But I must say it was a really weird thing driving over the border into Botswana and then into Namibia because suddenly we're criminals again here. We weren't criminals in California. We we're not criminals at home anymore. And now we're criminals again. So that is quite um, strange. <laughs> but we had a beautiful drive and it's a beautiful country and we're really excited to be here. So I'm sure that uh, Jules will fill you in on the rest. Yeah, so we, we, you'll have all seen the presentation we were planning on doing. It's, ba it's basically the same desired outcomes that we started a year ago. But of course, when we started the desired outcomes, we didn't have the decision, the, the Concord judgment. So we're going to tell them it straight that everybody here, uh, it sounds like they're 
already quite corrupt and they're already looking for licenses and complete control, but that remains to be seen. But we are going to be giving two presentations tomorrow to potentially a real prohibitionist audience, which we are not really used to. Normally there's people, not many people are disagreeing with us now, but this is a staunchly conservative place and weed is weed for sure around here. And we're going to meet on Saturday a whole room full of people that have recently been busted because the cops are cracking down, the courts are cracking down. So we're in the lion's den a little bit tomorrow. So um, we'll record some of it. We're not going to live feed it or anything, but we'll definitely report back because we'll be back next Wednesday and we'll give you the lowdown on the show next week. Okay. 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 Thank you so Hang much on. for the update. Hang on. Yeah. Hold on. One question. No, it's me here again. There is going to be a live feed. So we'll we'll get it out to everybody where the live feed is for tomorrow afternoon's presentation. There you have it. Somebody's live. Someone is live feeding. Okay. So um, if you, you can all stand down, you've seen the desired outcomes. We've got a couple of prohibition slides going in just to make them squirm a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, apart from that, we're going to be quite benign. There is a CBD shop in town, as you would expect. They throw fucking people in jail for THC, but of course there's CBD on the goddamn high street, as usual. Fuck that stuff. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Indeed. They're out. Cool. That was a mic, that was a mic drop. That was a mic drop. <laughs> Great mic drop. That was beautiful. Cool, man. So let's wrap up the, the e-juice thing. Mm. Um, <clears throat> Joe, could you vape every day? I do a little bit. Like you do, you're I right. I do a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Because it's more convenient for me. Mm. Like I'm busy. I don't have time to sit down, and, and I don't have an email, and I just I have a vape pen. It comes from a trustworthy source, and it's it's not mixed with shit that I don't want in my body. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy. Ryan, could you vape every day? You know, I have been thinking about vaping. Um, and I'm privileged to be in an environment where I can look at all the different options. Yes. Mm. Um, so it is something I want to look at because, you know, as we get older, combusting in our lungs is not so good. So I am looking for a healthy option to do that. The problem is I, I find it hard to keep my cell phone charged, so I don't know how I'm going to keep the charged. That's what I keep thinking about. Yeah. That's another device <laughs> that I have to charge, that I have to keep up. Oh, I can't, I can't even I have to charge mine like once every week to juggle. Minutes. And I'll lose it. Not often. <laughs> and I'll lose the charger. And I'll lose the pen because you put the pen somewhere because it doesn't work. And then you're like, where the fuck did I put the pen? Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. I'm like that. I'll okay. break it. Yeah, and it's not like losing a bec, you know. No. Yeah, yeah no, it's a bit more expensive than that. Yeah. Shaw, yeah. could you use vape pens every day? I prefer vaping. I can't roll, so I don't often smoke flowers because I live with my parents, so I don't think they'll like the smell of it. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I vape every day. That's my preferred method. Um, I also dab, which is another form of vaping, so... Yeah. All, for, all for vaping, it's much healthier than smoking. That's very true, dude. But I don't know, smoking cannabis is that bad for you, really? No. Mm, not really. I really don't <coughs> think so. I, I, I'll be real. I think smoking anything can't be good for you. <coughs> no. The, no, the act of combusting, what I'm doing here, no, can't be good for me. It's like I'm, I'm sucking on a little exhaust. Yes, you know? yes. <laughs> People that aged up 98, 99 still smoking cigarettes on their deathbed. Mm. Uh, yeah. I feel Isn't that, that weird? Some, the some, some people, people yes, some people. others die because their lungs yeah. fill up with tar mm. to the top, like my grand. Some people can take I it. remember going to the hospital and seeing my grand lying in a bed and she had this pipe coming out of her chest. Yeah. And there was just this tar oh. coming out of her chest. Yeah. When I was young, I saw this. And it's always stuck in my mind of this black ooze coming out of your lungs. She chain smoked. Yeah, she was a heavy smoker, yes. Yeah. But, god damn it. So when I was disgusting. a little girl, Big bottles of it. I don't think a cannabis smoker's lungs would look like that if you smoke weed every no, day. If you're no, that, that's what I would like to That's know, my yeah. point. When I was a little girl, I told myself or somebody told me that if you smoke tobacco and you smoke <coughs> marijuana, the two kind of counteract each other. Marijuana is going to eat that tar up a little bit. I believe so. Lungs. That's <laughs> my belief. Yeah. It does it? I, think I don't think it's carbon I'm neutral. I don't think it just eats up the, 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 the tar. I don't it's not think carbon that. neutral. I don't but think cannabis so. is so good for you that the damage you do when you do smoke it um, sort of gets weighed up by yeah. the, the goodness or the, all the that's, cannabinoids. That I could say. That's yeah. one theory. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, yeah. but you still 
you're still combusting in your lungs, which is going yeah. to be a... It's but you're combusting your cannabinoids. But hey, we can get stoned without smoking. You can vape, you can eat exactly. it. There's you lots of ways. There yeah. are other methods. So whatever you, however you choose to ingest Some your yeah. poison, yeah. you choose. Yeah. Mm. It's all about options and variety. Yeah, but also we can be real. Even on a good day, the Lord doesn't give with both hands. You know, so, you know, smoking's not ideal. Vaping, maybe it's also not ideal in the end. It's nice that you guys aren't using EG and VG, because I see there's a lot of debate going on. Yeah, like I don't that. like that stuff. Yeah. I see that bad. there's producers in the US who are having to issue public statements to say, listen, we're not associated with this and all that, because there's a lot of heat on the industry now. Hey? Next thing, Doctors for Life are going to be there protesting. And Skillet, there's going to be pre -pro prohibition on fucking vaping. Who knows? Who knows? So Buzz, how do you think the first person ever got stoned? How did he get stoned? Or she? Off their mama found refuse and... So, you, we, listen, let's go Joe Rogan here. Did, yeah. did they smoke it and then discover that you can get stoned? Or did Maybe they oh, we're talking boil about it weed, and make yeah? food I with it? Tea. tea. I think it was tea, hey? Made tea. They say that there's CBD in breast milk. Yes. So in theory, the first time you got stoned was when you sucked on your mama's teeth. You, you can't get stoned from CBD. Even Jules. No, no, no there's THC also there's in breast. Yes, there's, 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 there's many cannabinoids. And I think <laughs> that it does attribute to <coughs> child. <coughs> one second. <coughs> Let's go. Why they'll, keeps they'll, they'll, exactly. breast they'll they'll want to have Exactly. It calms down your anxiety from birth. Exactly. And also, it's as munchies. It helps with the simple fact that it makes you want to eat. It helps your diet, your metabolism work more, which then. By doing that, you're going to take more of your, the breast milk, which is full of everything that the human body needs. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's got everything. Mm. So, because stone's also a very broad spectrum. Because I hear you saying, uh, so you know, we like, what is stone? Because like, yes, CBD isn't psychoactive, but we're saying it does all these things for you. Some so if it's not it doing, if it's doing something for you, it's affecting you. Therefore, is that not stoned effectively? If it's not making you feel better. Isn't it's not stoned different. as you know stoned to be yeah, for yourself. Different. It's like a different kind of... Um, Cannabinoid receptors are being activated and they're working. Yeah. So, so uh, just on that point, there's new research out. Um, I'm going to send you the details. Mm. That say that when we get sick, our body instinctively starts making cannabinoid receptors. That they're waiting okay. for the cannabinoids. Okay. Okay. So in... in in what we do at, at the green side is we try and give guys CBD at first. And then what that does is it opens, it starts engaging these cannabinoids. Proactive CBD. Yeah, and, yeah. Starts, yeah. And, then, and, then, and then they start making more. And then, you know, so you, so it's, it's made for us. It's here for us, you know. Yeah, no, dude, we run on that shit. It's a companion yeah. plant. But I think Charlotte had a good question. How do I think the first oaks got baked? Um, I don't know. Did they burn the bush? Did yeah, they just so burn the fucking bush? Was, it's in the Bible, it's the burning bush. Well, it's exactly, it's they the burning bush. They could have been But it was before the Bible. The Bible, it? it's, yeah. it's yeah. way it goes back like, mm. it's been, it's been domesticated for like 6,000 years. Where was it? Afghanistan? Beyond China. 6, China. Yeah. I think tea. <laughs> tea makes the most That's sense, the easiest way I think to tea is boil it. They would have yeah. boiled the plant and got off the oils of it. Unless Oaks are rolling fucking fat papyrus blunts. Maybe they ate some of the fruit. Like right? fucking who can roll the biggest papyrus? <laughs> yes, this dude. <laughs> and there's no Long archaeological course. evidence because they burned it exactly. all. Exactly, right to the end. There's no, there's no fucking stuff. There's nothing yeah. left over. Big fish lips. <laughs> yeah, Oaks. So, uh, yeah, the, the Idris thing is interesting. But for now, let's take it down a bit. Okay. Let's get into the Keith Kirsten of weed section with Dan the Grow Man. Mm. Let's get into growing with my buds. Growing Should we fire that th that camera up, dude? Um, so, guys, growing with my buds, we just talk a little bit about <coughs> generic weed growing stuff. We'll interact with you. So, we're going to bring you a bit of a solo cup update on the small cups we've got going with some girls in. And then we're also going to talk about treating a powdery mildew with things you can buy online and things you can make at home with a little bit of weed IY. So, Dan, why don't you tell us a little bit, what is powdery mildew? Powdery mildew. Powdery mildew oh. is the bane. <laughs> Everybody's bound to get it, or at least a grower is bound to get powdery mildew every now and then. Um, what we can do is we can show you some examples. What it is basically, powdery mildew is a fungus that affects your plants if you are not, a, not taking the right precautions. So, 
think the easiest way. Are we going to talk about this first, or are we going to talk about? That's you. Oh, it's cool. Let's talk about this. So powdery mildew. If you are growing in a room and you have got way too much humidity, not enough uh, air movement or air exchange, uh, preferably air movement. Uh, leaf on leaf contact. It's basically a recipe for disaster. What you're going to start getting is you're going to start to get spots on a leaf. If you can see those white spots on the leaf, yeah, yeah. Mm. over there. Like very, very, very subtle. So good. And there. Yeah, so beautiful. If you can see that, you're too late anyway. It's not trichromes. Unfortunately, that's not trichromes. Don't celebrate. <laughs> trichromes. That means that you are trichromes. in the early stages of powdery mildew. And that's early stages. That's, yeah, well, no, that's not, no, no that's sorry. Fruity. So that's yeah. three to four weeks <coughs> post infection on your plant. So it's invisible for a while. You can't see it. So what it. happens is you can't see it, yeah. but when your room is in the right um, environment, it basically, the spore will land on, on a leaf or whatever it's going to, and it'll land and it'll send a taproot down into your plant. Yo. And the root goes into the plant. And this is where the debate about is powdery mildew systemic or not. That everyone um, basically is, well, all the scientists are still trying to say, and all these growers are debating, is it systemic or not? Okay, so there's the next stage. <coughs> a little bit more, you can see it how it goes down the veins there. That's you overnight. You can see, yeah, that will happen overnight if you don't take yeah. action, prompt action. If you see this, <coughs> then you've got to take action. If you see this happening here, that's, what you, that's what's going to come in, yeah. coming up. So then it goes to that. <coughs> and then you start getting leaves like this. Burn it, yeah. White everywhere, oh. and you start to think, ah, oh, maybe it's trichromes, maybe I'm lucky. It's both. <laughs> my plant is. That one is both. That bottom one looks like a bit of crystal and a bit of mildew. No, no, no. All mildew. Ryan, much, Ryan yeah. said it lacquer. Sometimes it is deceiving because you lacquer into flower and you think, here, my plant's looking so frosty, looking so dank. <laughs> <laughs> mm, it looks dank. No. And then meanwhile, it's oh, rotting. Sick joke. <laughs> well, the problem terrible. is when you, <laughs> when you get into flower and you start <laughs> seeing this, you are screwed. <clears throat> Unfortunately, to say it, you are screwed that there's fight. there, it's there. But Burn it and not in a small series of... Yeah, if you can control it by using some of the things we've got here. So that's it, there's that. But when you get to it and you bounce it like that... So the reason I asked Dan to tell us a little bit about this mildew right. first is because I've noticed some on the solo cups. So before we talk about solutions, you say that's a fraught one, Dan, and well, that's that, on some that's bud, got, eh? That's got powdery mildew on I mean, yeah, essentially yeah, that thing's got it all over. Inside the bud. <clears throat> so, interesting about powdery mildew. It's not toxic to humans. It doesn't harm you at all. Yeah. All that powdery mildew does, it irritates you. It's just an irritant. It can't kill you. It can't kill an animal. It can't do that kind of damage to you. So it's not okay. toxic. You usually not get toxic. it in your cupboards because yeah. uh, moist. So Moisture it'll just your irritate your lungs and it just doesn't look nice because it leaves a powder that's there. Um, yeah. What we were saying about... And the taste is also... Yeah, it'll affect the taste. If you, don't, if you don't control it, you're going to have... Was it maybe bad bad like development musky. and powdery. Would you yeah, say like it's un, can get to a point where it's unsmokable? <coughs> Already unsmokable. You shouldn't look. The moment you see you can spot, look, it's technically unsmokable. Unsmokable. Look, GMP is unsmokable. It's I must agree with you. But cool. remember, we've all I, I have. It. We've all smoked weed that's had powdery mildew. We all have. Yeah. Yeah. If you smoke local bankies of weed. You've yeah. definitely smoked something with some kind of spore in it. You smoke spider mite. You smoke broad But if you, you see it at this point here, where there's like little spots on the leaf, you can use things like bicarbonate of soda. Oh, yeah, very effective. Yeah. Bicarbonate of soda is a good one. How would we? So you you're whipping out the bicarb, yeah, like <laughs> everyone's skillet knows. You just throw the bicarb on it, then. Yeah. Or what do we do? No, no, no I was gonna say. So what you got to do is you want to <laughs> by using bicarbonate of soda, you're changing the pH of your leaf. Okay. And by the changing soil. the pH of the leaf, the fungus can't really spread and grow as fast as it wants to. So you make a solution of this, <laughs> what, like a teaspoon in a, in three four liters of water. Okay. Very light, and always add something like this, spray film, or dish liquid, just some soap, any kind of sticking spreading agent. So what's a, sp a spreading agent changes the viscosity of the water, but I think so it, it, so it doesn't have such yeah. water tension and it spreads out better. And it's able to hold, so yes. when it touches the leaf it doesn't just roll off the leaf but stays there so that it okay. doesn't just fall away. 
So you use those two and you spray on your plants and you make sure you cover all the leaves and you cover everything. <clears throat> and this will hopefully be an early flower so there's not many buds. And you should be able to slow this down. So how do you dilute it? One teaspoon of bicarb to a litre of water? Three litres. Three litres. One really? teaspoon to three litres. And then you pour yeah. it on or you spray it on? Spray it on. on. So spray it's not a lot. In a fine mist. As fine as you can make it. you where you can see it. And the stem. If it's on a leaf, you spray that whole stem the leaf yeah. is attached to. Yeah. And how often you the mildew you on the stem as well. You would do this repeatedly. You do this for yeah, at every third until it's day gone. for a few weeks. If you're going into flower, you'll keep doing yeah. it until... Until you hope it stops. Can you do it yeah. as a preventative? It won't harm your weed. To do it as it a preventative, will. you'd rather want to use something like... It will. It will have you got that length? No, you haven't. I've Jamie's, got that length. Yes, the length. We, so you'd rather want to use something like this. It's called Asperulus. It's some IPM <laughs> thing though, so... I don't have the name, sorry, but it's basically it's a bacteria. There we go. Ampelomyces quisqualis. Yeah. Basically, what it does, it's another fungal spore that when you spray it onto your plant, it basically lives on and creates its own little my, like network of mycelium mm -hmm. over the plant <clears throat> and in the plant. So when the powdery mildew spore lands on the plant, it doesn't have anywhere to go. It won't just... It won't be able to do its thing and send a okay. taproot down because this is protecting it basically. Okay. So this is part of your IPM. Like a force field. Yeah. Now, so what I've noticed with this stuff is you can use it proactively. Like if, I'd say spray it every two to three days proactively if you know you might Mildew or not. Mildew or you not. You must do it. Mildew or not. You must yeah. actually, you have to. If you so don't, everybody you must do it. Yeah, real yes, IPM a good safety is measure. you do it That's once it. a week. Prevention at is least better than from what least. stage, at right? Least. From birth. Depends on what from you do. The, from the from moment birth. that thing is alive, you can start spraying. Because yeah. these things are not, not heavy on the plant. Okay. They are just bacteria like and the water. the baking soda would be. Yeah, you'd waste a little before yeah. the baking soda, that kind of stuff. Oh, the baking soda is more reactive. Yeah. On a seedling, I'll do half of what he'd said. Yeah. On a seedling. Okay. And this, you're right. A, baking soda is more reactive than um, yeah. preventative. That's going to dry it out. It's going to help stop it from spreading much, yeah. So what I've noticed with this SF is you can use it in a low dose. It goes, you get gain yeah. mileage out well, of it if you use it proactively. But I've noticed even when you get mildew at that critical stage of budding, you can use this stuff aggressively. Yeah. I've noticed you can like t ten times the dosage. They recommend it. Yeah. And mm. and I've and I I think I believe it, but maybe I'm just a crazy old man. I've watched this stuff eat mildew away. Well, Would you use this preventatively on indoor also? Though. On yes. everything? Everything. Indoor, outdoor. Yeah. Not really, eh? No. Because I've no. tried some bacillus and trichoderma on buds in flower and it does fuck the turds. If you go on the recommended yeah, strength. This you is know. very... So, but this you don't even smell this. There's no but smell. But this is the one. one. This is the bacteria you want to eat that mold. Mm. It's, it's like designed for powdery mildew. So we've got some on these, on these solo cups, so let's have a look, I think we do have some here. Yeah. So guys, if you want to spend the money, go to Jamie's, drop the cash, be proactive, invest in a good sprayer, get it done, or do the thing at home for 10 bucks, yeah. a bicarb and dishwash liquid. Yeah, bicarb and dishwashing yeah. liquid, cool. it works as well. Let's or check the, yeah. you can use this stuff, which we will, yes. we will let you know all about this next week. Because there's a whole range of goodness yeah. coming there. Buddy spray, go check it out. Nice. <coughs> so you so say the bicarb actually <coughs> makes the, the pH, it raises the pH, pH of the surface alkaline. and you can't get that all the time. And mildew no. can't. And it can't exist in that environment. It mildew can't want shoot yeah. more roots. It won't be able to, yeah. It's acid rain. For yeah. It's interesting because yeah. cancer can't e exist in an alkaline environment. As well. So people can actually drink that. Well. Bicarb well. is amazing for it you. It alkalines your environment and you'll yeah. be healthy forever. It will. Use bicarb often. But then if you really are at the mercy of it and you've got no other option, and you've got it in the leaves. What you can do is you can take this stuff here. This is very strong though. I really do reward people to even think of using this 50% So when you put strength. that in water, it becomes like hyper-oxygenated water, yeah. right? It becomes very reactive. So anything yeah. it touches, it destroys. It's corrosive. Because it's, it's an O3, it's an yeah. extra People bleach their hair with it. Yes. Yeah. So you would actually take this, you would get yourself down to 3% in a volume of like 3 liters. So... That shit is dangerous. Get 30% H2O2, you. put it in a 100 mils, put it into 100 mils and then dilute it to And you can wash a plant in it, right? that shit. So, so I, you can I would say you use this, you can spray your plants, like if you've got you buds it. like yeah. this, that have got powdery mill on it, and you're about to harvest. You can bleach it. You literally can take this with a nice proper spray gun, so those pump ones, and put the spray on and wash mm. as much of this off as you can mm. with this. 
Um, but you have to do it at night. You cannot do this with the lights on because it's phytotoxic when you put yes. on the plant. It will kill the plant if you do it with your lights on. You're going to fry them. So and you must do it in the dark. Yeah. Or yeah. The yellow light. Yeah. Yeah, in the dark, Jen, or just a very soft light. So put on a little bulb or something a little bit earlier and turn off all your lights and then do that. And that'll help you wash it off. Night vision, Oaks, night vision. But like Wormschlang is saying, yeah, don't spill this shit. Yes, yeah. yes Do not get it on it's your skin. You must spot. wear gloves. Yeah, yeah, I've seen this Oak bleach his hands to yes, like a zebra. Yeah, you think it's like a paraffin victim. They do, they turn Three white. Three days. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. And also, I think you've got to be careful about not dropping water in it. You've got to add it to water. And on the floor, don't drop that shit on the floor. Don't drop it on concrete, trust me. Yeah. Paul, it just, bubbles, it just bubbles up and it turns the concrete white. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Fuck. guys, let's check how the babies are doing. <laughs> Damn. Not so baby anymore. Not so baby oh. anymore. Dude, this one crazy. <coughs> but I think it's they nice need a fucking haircut. A bit too much water. Texas butter. So that's the solo cup, that's one of them. Which is is that the one we topped? That's the one we topped. Check it out. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, killing it. Beautiful. So we already had one boy. These are all girls now, officially. Yep. These are all girls. Mm. Well done. And then five hundred mil caps, eh? Green boy. I don't think the pictures they do it justice. They're really impressive. Mm. Mm. They are, here. Yeah. I think they're the okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look there. You see there on that leaf there. Yeah. And on the stem. Check that stem. There, look on the stem there, you can see the white yeah, on that yeah. stem. Fucked yeah. up on the stem. That's that three, four in weeks the corner as too well. late. You must blow that bud in the corner as well then. Because that's where it's coming from. So what we will do now is this plant's going to get defoliated. We're going to first cut it all off and then treat it. Because I think it's not going to be fucked. Because I'm pretty impressed with the Jamies. I think it can do the job. Definitely do the job. Yeah. Wait, this, one's, this one's better. Yeah. This one's better. Wait. <coughs> and they've been getting some roots. organic, so that's why they got some brownish on the roots. Yeah, yeah. But, ooh! I like it. <laughs> you can see. Mm -hmm. So traditionally, What's the chat saying there? traditionally, this is when they would have been up potted by now, hey? Oh yeah, not already. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's definitely you can up pot yeah. that. That's I would have up potted, but we're not. It's a solar cup challenge, so. Mm. And these things have started flowering. So they're, what they're in like, they literally have just started flowering. Yeah. Oh, so they've got another month and a half, maybe two months ahead of them still, eh? Hey? Yeah, it's not Lucky Packet Seeds, bro. Uh, they're not Lucky Packet Seeds, they <laughs> say, yeah. No, these were from Greenpoint. These Greenpoint, were what? Texas Butter. Texas fucking That's butter. Banana Kush Cross Stardog. Stardog. We're burning money here, Oaks. We're literally yeah. burning money. <laughs> so, Dan, you're defoliating, hey? I'm just Ta pulling off some of these dead leaves. You see they're dying or they are dead. Yeah. You cool. just pull them off. Your plant mustn't waste energy trying to fix something that yeah. is not going to make it. Give you bud and mm. help it. Right, Jake, you're pulling all the bottom ones Even off. Even this eh? must come off. So there's no use. Pull it off. So Waste of energy. Wasting energy. Goodbye. Energy. Even these ones I would take, get rid of because if it's taking like off, this, dude. there's no, this one gets covered. Take so that big one off. off. The middle one is yeah. off. And then this one here has got powdery mildew on it, so we're gonna get rid of this <coughs> one. Because also they start blocking light. That's it. And they, 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 there's a point of diminishing return, I think, with a big leaf, eh? Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. The, the trick with the leaf is everything <coughs> from where the leaf touches the stem upwards, that leaf, leaf is trying to support. So if it's trying exactly. to support too big a network, it's mm. better to have many little engines than one big engine. Okay. Each little branch that will be making bud needs to be making its own panels to support itself. Yeah. It'll be getting it from the highways. Mm. You know, that's the, the highways and the byways. So the structure should remain. That's how you try, try to clean it for flowering mm. to increase uh, flow to the buds. So Dad, you're going to have to slow it down a bit. Yeah, let's see those pubes at the top. So let's see, how do we know it's a girl? Hold on, it's a bit. <laughs> okay. So there you go, you can clearly see as a female. With those mildew. white hairs there. And more mildew. And more mildew. <laughs> Let's just get yes. over the mildew. We'll, 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 get, we'll get through it. But like we've said all along on the show, we're not trying to grow these things ideally. These aren't our most loved children. These are like the ginger stepchild. It's just, we try to grow them in a, in a way where you can be exposed to all these pains that come with not paying that much attention as well. Mm. We're not yet to hit sixes with these. 
we have to interact and physically show you when it's not yeah. done great. Pull that shit off. I still rate we're going to get 50 grams of plant. 75. <laughs> five. Boom. Oh, five. <laughs> <laughs> now, Ryan, how many grams of plant do you now, think? Five. And then we also got our freakazoid here. Oh, oh yeah. Dankenstein. Dankenstein. Oh. This thing was grown in this weird, like, it's going to do the tube. best. No, dude, yeah. it's doing the worst. It's cuck in that tube, dude. It's so high, man. It's not happy. It's time is coming, bro. I'm telling you. I think it's going to be mutant on you. It thinks it's a late boomer. They're under the litter. It's going to come knock on my shoulder at night. If you topped it, she would have reacted very well. Is it too late to top? Yeah. Yes. It's already into top. If you want to stop all growth. Yeah, if you top this now, you're literally going to just stop everything. Let's see about as much stress as we can give it during flowering and just defoliating. Yeah. Topping it in that will really make it spares an hermaphrodite. Okay. Potentially. Okay. Going to get one, 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 one note. One note. One Just the top is going to be the yeah. note. So uh, not ideal. We're gonna, no. We're going to share ideal. the Look photos of it forever. You'd be happier with a cup. Yeah. Now, well, how have you made it there? Like, oh, we took a piece of pipe okay. that was the same volume as a 500 ml cup. Okay. And we took this. Because that's the rule was 500 ml. Oh. Okay, so we learned something there. It's not ideal. I think if we filled it with perlite next time and oh. just ran water through it, <laughs> it really drip. committed. Yes. Hydro. Go hydro. Crazy. So I think there will be a Dankenstein 2.0, but for now we're just trying out the 500 mm. mil thing because it's fun to try these things with you. Oaks, if you want to do it on Instagram, I know someone's doing a local thing, um, a local solo cup. You can just search for the local There's hashtags. There's quite a few of them, yeah. Yeah, man. It's, it's, yeah, we're, not, yeah, yeah. we're not saying this is an original idea. We're just trying to grow these things and have a lull with you and see how some of you all are doing. Dusty, I'm sure you're doing a great job. Your shit always looks dank. I'm looking forward to seeing your solo cut pictures personally. Yeah. Yeah, those split pictures are amazing on Instagram <coughs> where you can swipe left really and right are. and the detail, it's amazing. I saw the app. There's an app you can do it with. I saw the app today. You need that res. You yeah. need that res, eh? So, guys, yeah, um, while we buy a little bit more time talking mm. about party mildew and that, we're mm. going to get onto Insta your gram soon, eh? Hey? Cool, man. So, like you were saying, dude, we can do bicarb and soapy stuff and that, and we can go to Jamie's garden shop. Mm. But something you guys have been talking about lately is washing buds. Mm. This concept of washing buds. It's a new concept to me. What is it? Cold so basically what we just did there, what we were just talking about now, is by using your bicarb and your hydrogen peroxide and also lemon juice, you create three baths that you would essentially wash the bud. And by washing it, you wash the actual blood in the one bath, and then you go to the next one, and then you go to the next one. And by doing that, you're rinsing off the different dirts and the fungal fungus and whatever's there that you don't want to be there. Okay. Can you use a brush? No, no brush. You just, just you just like shake it around in the water, let it agitate. It'll basically pull off all of the mold and all the fungus will come off on the one because you're going to use uh, hydrogen peroxide in the one. Yeah. So it's a thorough way of doing it. It's better yeah. than spraying it on. Well, it's only done at the end. You're yeah. only going to do it before you, harvest. You harvest. When okay. you harvest, you stand there, you cut all the leaves, you shake, you clean, clean, clean. Well, obviously, if it's it. outdoor, that's the only time you can do it. Yeah, even indoor. Yeah. 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 Mm. Okay. It's just a matter of cleaning it. But people, it works. It does work. But it's also like a last resort. You're not going to get off. You're not going to be able to let powdery mildew run rampant in your room and then decide that you can wash it off and then yeah. still be safe. No. It's about if you see some spots in your room, just to be safe for yourself, you can just do it. And you'll be surprised. Because when you wash it, if you watch the movie that Paul P. Savantes put out, so when you wash it, there's like the scum that comes off the top of, on the top of the water. And that's actually it. the mold that gets comes off the plant. Yeah. Wow. So you'll be... I need the top part of the mycelium though. Yeah, yeah. only inside, what's visible, only yeah. what's there. Only what you still have is inside the plant, but only what's visibly on the top of the plant for you to get it. Okay. Yeah, so it's quite a horrible thing to have. Yeah. Prevention is better to care. Make sure your air your room is always being ventilated properly, you've got okay. good circulation, not too much humidity. Um, yeah. Clean yourself before you go into your room. Keep your room, grow room clean. Yeah, That's take your thing. shoes off. Sterile. Don't just oh, yeah, don't just try and get a little air filter. If you can, get an air filter. Yes. They're like three and a half grand for the smallest the one. Hepa filters. Hepa. If you can, yeah. Micah. It's the smallest one. It's pricey, it's but it's uh, it'll save your room. If you lose a whole entire harvest <laughs> just from powdery mildew, you, you can do like eighteen squares. The smallest one. What's it like an air scrubber? It's a dehumidifier and it's got an air purification HEPA inside it. So, so it uses, the it just, yeah, it's got you a You can choose. Yeah. 
pepper or dehumidifier. Mm. So guys, I have a question. If you're going to start an indoor grow and you want to do it properly mm. and you've got um, some money to invest, okay? Say you can spend, correct me if I'm wrong, about 30,000, 20,000 to 30,000 rand. Mm. Now you've got your setup, your room is ready. So what is what are the least amount of plants that you would grow for your... I mean, I'm not saying you're going to sell the weed you're growing, but just for yourself, you know, what, what's the least amount of plants you would grow in that setup after you spent the money to make it worthwhile for yourself? How much do you smoke? Okay. And, like, how much would you think you would need in a month? 50 grams, 100 grams mm. to, to self-sustain? I was just thinking the other day, because if you've invested all that money, why would you only grow one plant if you can grow four or five, you know? Yeah, you must always maximize your space. Yeah. yeah, don't use half a tent, Outside, but a whole tent inside, running, of course not. If you're doing it yeah. on the porch, whatever, always maximize your space if you can. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a pity. Yeah, but realistically, let's be real. It's, let's say you start at the beginning with the seed. Six months to harvest, eh, Dan? Yeah. Mm. Two months of veg, four, four months, no? Four months of flower, two months of flower? Two and a half oh, months of flowers. Two outdoors. Yeah, so realistically yeah. looking six months till you've got something till you can smoke. Because yeah. you've still got to harvest, harvest it and cure it and not mm. dry it in the microwave or the That's oven or the light bulb. <laughs> so you need to like save some every month. Yeah. You need 100 so grams, get 150 and put it away for winter. Mm. Mm. That's so you it. you work out what you need in a year and grow it, try and grow it one time. Mm. So you only grow once a year. But I would imagine with a 20, 30 grand setup. That's boring. What's boring? It's the Growing easiest one way. crop a year. It's the easiest sure. way. That's for outdoor growers, yes. I would say grow way. a indoor. small amount of a small indoor. amount many times that you've got variety throughout the year. So you yeah, grow. so you would keep some clones going. So if you have a setup like that, I'm just thinking in terms of the police come in and they bust people with these indoor growers. Mm. It's always drug lab and a uh, big shout, you know, about that. But drug lab. Anybody that's growing indoor is not going to just grow one plant after investing all that money and you've got all this equipment to your disposal. Of course, you're going to mm -hmm. yeah. make sure you've and got a lot. Keep them in rotation yeah. as If well. your system can take the amount of plants to transpire yeah. yeah. in the room, then yeah. And at the moment, a lot of South Africans are doing just that. It's their first grow. It's their first time they're doing it. So a lot of people have plants, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you want to get 100 grams a month for yourself for that whole month to smoke, yeah. you've got to have like whatever like three four plants you know on average for the for like a, just an average size and people grow. that start don't know of so they're going to go as strain, big as they so can it's going to be four and then another four and another four and if you want to make sure you have your stages you have four eight twelve sixteen at least sixteen plants yeah. in veg another sixteen plants in flower in different stages that you have you're it always available for you yourself. so it's already thirty something <coughs> plants just yeah. there so, so you want to grow 50 like plants, oh, yeah. 50 yeah. plants that you have to have all the time growing 50 plants dad yeah. no time. fuck all oh, dad so i'm joking dude if yeah. you want to have a <coughs> you want to have a perpetual cycle of weed yeah. that is different you have to have those clones yeah i like variety i like gonna be every month just for the average Joe, 50 plants. Well, the average Joe smoke that smokes, new strain the dude that week. likes to drink will make sure he gets his What's case every single Friday. You know what I mean? Yeah. Space? That's like fair. Four times. Flower That's space fair. versus uh, veg space. Your veg space times. is to be, or two to three times is probably fine to go with, bigger than your flower two space. Of times. course, you have to have that space to perpetually grow your plants and make sure they're ready so that your flower room operates yeah. perfectly. You can't, you can't skip a beat if you want to do this uh, and yeah. do it right. Otherwise, you're going to be paying for electricity and you're yeah. not. And you're going to hit a dry you season and you'll have nothing to smoke. Yeah. And you're no, paying you're for the electricity struggle, still. Yeah. You're going to struggle mm -hmm. and yeah. pay for shitloads of electricity. And then you're going to have to go buy a week. Yes. Yeah. And then what? So it does kind of hook you into this perpetual cycle where you have to... Like, if you want to be done like the that. investment, you better just get the cycle yeah. of growing. But some guys, some guys would rather fill the whole tent and get, say... One big done. Six, seven hundred grams or whatever in one go. And then yeah. freeze and then the crop. start from the beginning and then <laughs> yeah. start that whole process out. Yeah, and I'm it getting. takes them two, three months to get there. But they have to because they've got... Mm. Dang the smoke. But for three months. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's, perfect, how yeah. do you want to operate your grow? Mm. How do you feel like growing? And how many times do you think, on average, do you have to try until you can comfortably grow? So, I, I know now how to handle it. It's going to be a success. I reckon a year. Four harvests because you've got to go through all your all your seasons. Outside, mm. mm. yeah. your temperature changes. You think, yes, I've got this waxed, and then winter comes around. You're like, what oh. the fuck is going on here? Yeah. <laughs> fuck! Uh, I thought I knew everything. Uh, <laughs> and then you just struggle, and you just like, I oh, fuck! So you, it's a year. It's about a year or so till yeah. you can 
I'm not saying it's before it's waxed, but do you know you can you, you feel can confident. Go, yeah, you can feel confident because you've gone yeah. through this, the motions of hot and cold. You know what the equipment does. And yeah, exactly. You know yeah. what you can you handle in that space. Yeah. What you need to improve on. You need to put in your hours. It's like no, it's like learning bicycle. It's like learning nookie. It's like learning all these things. You got to put in the hours. Schooling fees. You've yeah. got to pay them. You've yeah. got to pay the schooling fees. But also, I also feel it's tough. It's a commitment, dudes. Growing weed, or especially indoor, it can be a little bit high maintenance. You can't fuck off for a week and only come see this thing on no. Sunday sometime. Maybe your automation's cool and all. But I promise you, you let that mildew run for a week. Oh. Yeah. Start again. No, start again. No first, washing first at all. Right. Go first back cry. to go. Yeah. Cry for a little bit. Maybe if you go away, you can get a baby cam in, you know. <laughs> What's the point? Oh, I can see my grow room's on fire. I can see my... <laughs> <laughs> I can see the camera's The alarm's going off. Fire. Right. No, I can see my old you from the beach. Damn fishing. Lacquer. Like, uh, <laughs> turn the phone off. I don't want to see that shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, the, the fucking neighborhood will smell, eh? Horrible. Oh, dude. oh it does suck. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, it's quite what if you're growing to extract? It's, it's from MJ. What, like weed to extract? What do you mean? By what so part? what if you're growing just for extraction purposes? I get what you're saying. Like, I've been saying... Yeah, there is two different techniques. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> because like, we, we've smoked, we've grown weed to smoke and mm. to vape and all that. Mm. But maybe if you're going to make extracts, maybe but you don't harvest it at the same time. Maybe so you don't grow it exactly so the same for, way. When you, if you're growing for extract itself, you won't grow a bud that looks like that. This yeah. nice, this stuff, this Kimbo Kush that's nice yeah. and yeah. dense. That doesn't work for you. Wait to you need to have weeks. plants that are like sativas, that are big, tall, lanky, laughy, lots of space in the area as fuck. You don't want to have any tight buds at all mm. because essentially the more surface matter that's yeah. exposed, the more, the more trichomes, the more oil, the more Fox hash, the more to extract. The max. So you you know to grow indoors for extract is good, but you need to really have the height. You need to have height to make your plants grow long and stretchy and good get strains. that. And get off, that well, return. well, strains are strains. And maybe you time strain. it a bit differently as well, because everyone's on this chase for the clear. I'm thinking if you harvest it prematurely when those trichomes are still clear, not mul milky, you could come up with a very clear dab in theory straight off the bat. So so. You don't think the yeah. moment you Depends. take those dabs, you, the moment you extract it off of the plant, the oxidation oxidation will occur and will start to turn red. Okay. You cannot stop that from happening. That you know, the lighter and the whiter the dabs, it's more of the uh, purification and removing, just removing stuff that's not supposed to be there. Okay. Trichrome shells, um, certain pigments that are there, oxidation. You've got to remove that kind of stuff. So. Uh, yeah, we'll go deep on dabs someday because I know Dan's got a special guest lined up soon. And we will Coming go soon. deep on Dragon Balls and all that good stuff. But Shaul, yeah, how long is a piece of string? It depends on how much you need. 20, 30 grand should get you running. But just understand, guys, it's going to be months before you have something you can smoke. Mm. And don't tell anyone. Before you've got your first harvest, yeah. don't do it. Yeah, <laughs> even after you've had your first harvest, yeah. maybe keep it still for a bit. Now, because also every oak gets so proud, he gets three months into his grow, they're looking bushy, they're smelling, you can't keep a secret, he wants to say, hey my friends, come look, come look, come look at this thing that's going on in my garage, yeah. and then Skillet, you've got spider mites off one of them. Oh, yeah. For your own safety as well, Oaks. Uh, keep it clean, change your clothes, wash your beard, man. Just, we're going to talk that. I think maybe we should do an episode on like, Grow kit that you should wear, yeah. and that as well. Keeping it clean. Foot yeah. bath. I've got a foot bath. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do Insta your gram, folks. Yeah. What yeah. about CBD and N? What uh, happened to that? CBD and N was the Can thing was about the, the e juices and the vapes. <laughs> oh, the poll this totally week good. is do you even vape pen? Yes, sometimes, if that shiz. Uh, please remember, enter hashtag hotbox show. For Insta your gram, last chance, I don't know if your oaks are going to win. So I'm going to be real, I've been sending all these prizes to people for Insta the gram. Guys, the prize going forward is going to be a voucher. And we're going to do bundles of the freebie shit we get. So I think we'll do occasional grand prizes. Otherwise the butter's too thin and it's no fun for everyone. But everyone will get free shit, mm. I promise. Mm. One one. Cool, so Ryan, the deal is we're going to slowly go through some bud pornia on the felt workers of weed. Mm -hmm. And you'll get to pick a winner. Cool. You'll say that oak gets some free shit. And we okay. used to be stingy about vibes of oaks can't win every three months. We don't care anymore. We're too stoned to <laughs> yeah, care like or keep track. Shit. And I know Joe's yeah. been doing such a good job with the spreadsheet. I've been keeping track. Oh, man. Yeah, but it's okay. Yeah.
just waiting for for launch launch to happen. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. In it to win it. So I'm going to sit here awkwardly and smoke this joint in silence. Mm. <laughs> I hope you all have had a lucky evening. Silence, silence. Yep. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. I hope you all have been blazing and getting fucking grilled. And you Oaks only watch it on the weekend because you're too busy now with the lighties or whatever. You yeah. have a good time too. Mm. Eh? These are the pics you're going to judge. Oh, these are the pics I'm judging. Yeah, they'll be on the screen as well. Mm. 101. It's yeah. better to watch it there, dude. Otherwise, yeah. we're going to get confused. Yeah. Eh? Box, box show. What's it here? Yeah. Not really on the pro. phone, dude. No, Two no, devices no, is confusing no, 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 and we end up having different chats. And you should be one tonight. Fish has got an exclamation there. It's not letting me go in there. Yo, Sorry, guys, we've got oaks. some technical issues here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like I should yeah, have some ads. There we go, try it. There we go. Run some ads quickly. One, two, nine. We should have an ad ticker. Yo, we should cut to ads every once in a while, Alex. Okay, there we go. We're, we're, we're launching, yeah, we're launching. Let's see Dan's DMs. So guys, this thing does get shadow banned a bit. We don't see all of y'all's pictures all the yeah. time. But let's just play the field as it lies, eh? <coughs> and we're in. Ta-da! We so small on the stream, we need to get some zoom. Boom! Okay. Birds. Looks tight. Who's that? Katie? Lift, lift the, mm. the screen up a bit. Okay, go back there. Measure. Oh, that's pretty. <coughs> <coughs> Skittles. <coughs> yep. Okay. Mmm, this is cool. Mmm. Great tips. Mmm. Oh yeah, lovely fade. Mm. Mm. Very pretty. That is very, very pretty. Wow. Rosy cheeks. <coughs> Winter <coughs> bro. Not bad. Oof, that looks delicious. You need a 20 of them. Yeah, High school one day. last week, eh? Yeah. Dude, yeah. I think we've chatted. I'll send you stuff. I've been busy. Great autumn colors there. Mm. Beautiful, eh? Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <coughs> oh, no, no. <coughs> what, what is it? Yeah, Fort Winnie Tay, they have a whole series of real, real close ups of very young plants and <coughs> seedlings. Mm. Beautiful photography. I saw them, mm. they were absolutely gorgeous. <coughs> What are we judging? Photography? Whatever you, judging, you want. Whatever you want. Best. Just your favoritest picture, dude. Or 20 pictures. Winner gets it all, dude. Mmm, nice. some perps. Nice. Perps. Very mantis nice. bag. <coughs> yeah, those bags work really well. Mmm. Roots. Shit. Damn. Mmm, damn. Ooh, wow. Shit. <laughs> That's cool. Dog off, so okay. freaky cool. If you cover them with straw or something, they'll go crazy. Mm. Yo, you know what I'm saying? I am O what in the I'm house. I'm saying. Mm. Un. Yo, Oaks, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. The pawn's wow. looking good, eh? It's really mm. looking like a, yeah. Oh, that's some single fucking Calyx shit. shit, dude. How much is that thing? Two grams of plant. <laughs> <laughs> but lacquer, it's gonna be, it's gonna smoke so good. Fast. All gas, no brakes. It says. <laughs> no, it's just gonna be trichomes, that thing, dude. <laughs> so good. Mm, that is pretty. Look at that. Mm. Sure. Yo, Oaks. Playing with fire. <laughs> That's the what you are. Yeah. Mm, the series of the seedlings. There's a whole lot of them, but beautiful. Oh. I saw a picture <coughs> of uh, that's, twins. That's, that's oh, that's think that this uh, effort is huge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody likes that. 
Yo, oh, this person is putting so much effort. So much effort, hey? Just check it out. Look at that. Zoom in on it, Dan. Mm. Zoom in on it for us for a moment there. It's like root trichomes, eh? Check oh, it out. Yo. Oh. 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 That's yeah. a definition. Good shot. Mm. That cannot be just a phone, eh? That's probably a, a good camera. camera yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's not a phone. Wow. That's cool, though. Super that's amazing. Cool The shit is lit, eh? Yeah, it's, it's one like of those days lots. I wish I could get everyone a prize, but I'd be bankrupt. With the Zambuck. I think that's it. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> Ryan, the rest is up to you, dude. Okay. Yeah, I think the seed series was, was very impressive. Got a lot of effort into it. There's a lot of yeah, effort that's got in there. Um, and then there was another one. What's this guy popping? Yo, Ethos. Yeah. <laughs> ethos. Oh, that's high school teacher last week's winner. Dynafem and what's there? The church. Oh, she's the church. Yes. That's some good shit, the church. This dude has some fucking... Uh, this oak puts the eye in high school. This shit looks gassy. <laughs> mm. It's really... It's a pretty picture. Instagram must stop shadow banning us. I feel like you, all of you are putting in so much effort. And this is so good. It wouldn't be nice if they just embraced us. You're not trying to make free money off anyone with them or anything. Here's that uh, Living Organic Store which we had on the show last week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I In think, stock. sneak peek, once we're done with these um, these little five these 500 ml cups here, mm. I've got a bag of just cannabis, yes. a bag of this stuff, mm -hmm. and a bag of Freedom Farms. And I think we should do a side-by-side -side of just water and nothing else and see how long they go. In Who makes it to part? the end? What size part? A nice size. 10 meter, to be fair. One 15 these, meter. One of these bad boys, yeah. That's it. One of these. So I think after this, we're going to fucking put them all three. We're going to do it. We're going to see who goes, I live my life from 420 clone, meters from at clone. a time. From clone. From clone. We're from not clone. fuck around with Stevens. We don't fuck around. From clone. Even Stevens from clone. Just add water. Let's yeah. see who makes it furthest. Okay. Cool, man. Any winners nice. yet? You like the oaks with the close-ups, eh, Ryan? Yeah, with the close-ups? With the close-ups of the seeds, I think. What's when you fail? I mean, that definition was quite... Mm. It's amazing. Impressive. And just to watch that, it's like a whole birthing process. Yeah. It's Mm. But which one? <laughs> well, yeah, which is your favorite DNA of the genetics, series? Right. Strawberry banana, day four, first leaves are showing. If he keeps this this kind of journal up with this plant's growth till the end, it'll be quite something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's our dedication, but yeah. yeah. Are they, are they above or below? Good luck. So I think let's say 420 Fay wins on concept and we'll just we'll pick a picture to, to We'll pick them the all yeah. and then we'll pick them so all. Yeah. Just oh, oh, sure. Right, happy with that. I think it's down to the wire yeah, Ryan's still making up his mind. No, we're just trying to find it. It's all of them, dude. We'll give it for all of them. They're so you, good. You can't eh? give it for all of them, yeah. It's hard to even pick a winner between them, eh? Hey? Uh, anymore. No, that's that's and that's group together there, yeah, let's go for all of them. Yeah, I can't choose because like, how do you choose? How do you exactly. choose? Dude? So because how do you choose? Well, like, he's the he's the photographer, so, so he wins all of go, it. He likes all of those. Let's go with that one. No. <laughs> well, yeah, with the focus one, on the leaf. Yeah. That seed cracking. That, yeah. yeah, that one. That one. Okay. Next to that one. The one's got the focus on the shell and the one's got the focus on mm, the that's leaf. That's the one. The one with the focus on the leaf, yeah. There we go. Is that the one you... That's yeah? the winner. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. That is pretty. Right, congratulations, 420 Faye. <coughs> you made it. There'll be a prize coming your way. Oh, these are all different seeds. What, eh? what uh, camera it Looks like the same seed leaf, by the it's way. not. This is Great White Shark. Oh, okay. And this seed here Follow is... Follow them and ask them. You must great. go ask them. Yeah. That's a great trade white shark as well. Yes. Check out the skin is still stuck okay, in there. No, it's the same one, you yeah, see. All three of those. Yeah, we're getting hung up on this Oaks close-ups, Oaks. Guys, <laughs> the, the shit is lit. Oh, it's really camera. lit. Faux 20 Faye. 
We'll hit you up in the DMs. We'll get you a voucher for the shop. We're going to put together a grand prize and maybe do a monthly thing so we can give someone something Uber. But for now, you at least get a 420 on me at the high car. Guys, please remember, like, share, subscribe. Last chance to vote in the poll. Um, do you even vape, Ben? Yes, sometimes, if that shiz. Uh, guys, please remember to go, like, and follow our affiliates. Our affiliates don't necessarily have the views of us on the show. We're just blowing off steam, yeah? Yeah. But over at our, our formal lives with Fields of Green for All, there's a lot of companies and brands who put their money where their mouth is, just put a couple of bucks in the tin so that we can all support each other and just, yeah. you know, make this really Fields of Green for All. So please go check them out. There's Grow Shit, there's Seeds, there's Canatrade, also the green side. Also go check us out on Facebook. We've put the links in the YouTube. Guys, I realized like for a long time that we were neglecting our guests with no links. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Awkward as fuck, but it's all right. We've put links in this time. So go yeah. check out the green side's link for the event on Facebook. And yeah, please go support all those brands who support legalization. That's what are awesome. the results of the poll? You can shout it out, man. I'm too stoked to give yeah. a fuck. <laughs> what the results, Oaks? <laughs> Huh? Everyone wins. Everyone wins. Everyone eh? wins. Yay. Fuck that shit, ninety percent. Fuck uh -huh. that shit, ninety percent, dude. Sometimes ten yes. percent. Sometimes ten percent. Did anyone say yes? Ten percent is the devil. No one thinks. <laughs> your oaks are all lying. You're so all ashamed. I know you've got these CVD pens hidden everywhere in your car, in your bed, Shit's in so the cheap. toilet. <laughs> Where? Shit so cheap. <laughs> now we know. I'm quite yeah. sure because the, the vaping areas. high is amazing. It's the best high is to vape. I'm genuinely surprised because do you know what? Being a stoner a lot mm -hmm. and the most interest I see <clears throat> are in these. Amongst young and old, the convenience, the low keyness, the ease of dose, you know, it's it's never gonna be a cigarette, so it's never gonna fuck us up like that. I know the shit's controversial, yeah. but at least there's no E G and V G and all that. Make up your mm -hmm. own minds and do you know what? Maybe life needs a little spice, eh? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Any last shout outs? Am I forgetting anything? Are we gonna be anywhere, Joe? Dude, I, I'm stoned. I can't we're going to the green <laughs> side tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going gonna to be at the green side tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, guys, cool. 420. From 420. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Until 9, it's going to be a great shindig. And the coolest thing about cannabis is the people that surround it. Mm -hmm. So please be there. Yeah. Be one of the peoples. Yeah. Cool, man. Guys, please remember, like, share, subscribe, subscribe, stay lit. Joe, thank you for the camera halo thing. My, my ring of fire. Ring of fire. It's an absolute pleasure. Yeah. I'm just so glad I didn't get screwed over by Chandamal. That was like a bargain. Yeah, I think we must call it the ring of mo-fire. <laughs> oh, no. Can I just add that uh, Green Network membership has now dropped from 150 oh. rand a month to 49 rand a month. So everybody has the opportunity to contribute to legalization. Yes. Hey, day special. We're going to go there. deep about that. There. Don't miss it. And guys, the whole thing, you said the Green Network, the whole point with it, not a payment wall. It's just we get a lot busy with the, like, the formal things. Mm. We'll speak next week about it. But for you who genuinely want to ask us that, Deep shit questions. It takes time. Go ask there. Put 40 mi 49 bucks in the fucking tin before you waste anyone's time, including yourselves. Take it easy. Stay sexy. Don't get murdered. Don't get murdered. Peace. <laughs>